Hey, this is Nick Pino from TechRadar.com, and if you've tried everything, try these easy and free tips for speeding up your Android device. First, let's get your phone up to date. Google and smartphone manufacturers often release updates to the operating system your smartphone runs, which can make your device perform faster and smoother. Open up the settings menu on your Android device and scroll down to About Phone, then select System Updates. If a new update is ready to be downloaded and installed, it will pop up here. One of the main reasons your Android device could be running slow is that you have a lot of apps open that use up the device's memory. To see what apps are currently running, tap on the Overview button. In Android Lollipop and later, this is the square icon on the bottom right-hand corner of your device's screen. Overview will bring up previews of the apps you currently have running. You can close down any apps you're not using by quickly swiping left on each preview, or on some Android devices, you might see a close all option on this screen as well. Similarly, the more apps you have installed, the slower your Android device will perform. That's why it's worth regularly uninstalling any apps you don't use anymore. Open up Settings and tap on Apps. Tap on an app you don't use and select Uninstall to get rid of it completely or Force Stop to prevent it from running in the background. Turning off additional animations can also help your smartphone perform faster. If you have a moving wallpaper, you can save system memory by changing it to a static image. Now, open up Settings and scroll down to where it says About Phone. Tap on this, then tap on where it says Build Number seven times to enable developer options. Open up the new menu and scroll down to where it says Window Animation Scale. Tap and then select Animation Off. Do the same with Transition Animation Scale. If you have a lot of widgets sitting on your home screen, then these can also affect your Android device's performance. Your phone manufacturer may have placed widgets on your home screen that you might not find useful. Remove any ones you don't need by holding your finger on them, then dragging them to the top of the screen where it says remove. Cleaning out the cache is another way of speeding up your phone's performance. To do this, open up settings and tap on storage and USB. This gives you an overview of what's taking up your valuable storage space. Tap on apps and then choose an app that's using up a lot of space. Now tap on clear cache to help free up some space. Note, this won't uninstall the app, but it will remove all the data it has saved on your device. This means you might have to sign in to any user accounts tied to those apps after you select this option. Take too many photos? Photos and videos quickly fill up your device, so now is a good time to back them up and remove them from your smartphone or tablet. If you do a lot of internet browsing, then the Chrome browser will begin to get a bit bloated, which could slow down your Android device. To clear the data and cookies that Chrome has accumulated, open up Settings and tap on Apps. Scroll down until you see Chrome, tap on it, then tap on Storage and select Clear Cache. If you're still unhappy with the speed of your Android device, then you can always take the drastic step of a complete factory data reset. However, this should only be used as a last resort as it will delete all of your data and return your Android device to the state it was in when you first bought it. The upside of this is that your Android device should run good as new. Make sure you back up any data you want to keep before you begin the process. Open up settings and tap backup and reset. Make sure backup my data is turned on and you have a backup account connected. Then tap on factory data reset and then select reset phone. Your Android device should now perform noticeably faster thanks to these steps. You may want to play around in the settings to make sure your Android smartphone or tablet is running as fast as it possibly can and make sure you return to these steps every time your device starts to slow down. We have lots more tips and tricks for getting the most out of your Android devices at techradar.com. Click the link below to find out more.